hello today is monday okay so it's technically canadian thanksgiving today so stefan and i are both at home but i still want to get to work i am on jules the dawdling writers stream and the cards she pulled for today there were two of them and basically they said the same thing we need to focus mind is completely scattered which it is so i started to do the master to-do list and then, which is just for my nano project. And then I also, um, just using the giant notes section in the October section, I put all of that stuff, but I also put the other stuff that I want to do this month because there's that's my problem is I've got all these things that I need to do and it's making me kind of freeze and not do, like I'm kind of doing a little, little tiny bits here and there, but not as much as I know I could do if I just focused, which is why the card was so good, on one thing at a time. So today I am focusing on finishing, going through the screenplay, making notes, and that's the first thing. Then I want to map out the organization. I want to map out this religious cult at this town and then I want to map out the relationships between everybody and I think I can actually do that all in Jules's stream I'm almost done with the screenplay and I already kind of know what I mean obviously from writing the screenplay I kind of already know the organization and the religious cult and all those things but more they're more surface level in the screenplay because again it's kind of that horror genre so I want to be specific. I feel like you definitely need to be more specific in books because, you know, if you're in the internal thoughts of somebody, they're going to know intimate details of the organization they've been working for their entire, entire lives, right? Yeah, so first things first, finish the screenplay, take notes. Focus one thing at a time. <laughs> okay. making progress. We're actually on the last sprint of the day, but I did finish going through the screenplay and I figured out where I need to embellish and add some scenes and add where the history of the organization and the cult and all that stuff comes from. It was actually a really good way to see the flaws in the screenplay. <laughs> Definitely going to have to be tweaking the screenplay after I write this book. I made certain things too easy, if that makes sense. Like it's like, oh, solved, oh, solved, oh, solved, you know, because I had to get through the plot. Yeah, it doesn't work. I mean, it works, but I definitely need to flesh out some things so that it feels more accurate, natural. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is good because it'll make it easier when uh, I'm in nano. I'll know exactly what I need to embellish on. So, oh, hi, buddy. Got a friend underneath my desk. Hi. It is very weird. It feels like Sunday and it's Monday. So like even doing this makes me feel like I'm getting bonus work done, but I'm really just actually getting Monday work done. <laughs> I probably won't be doing as much work as I normally would be doing on a Monday. That's just because it's technically Canada Thanksgiving. We have, uh, we, bought, we bought these. They're not really TV dinners, but they're kind of pre-made turkey dinners so that you don't have to make an entire turkey dinner. <laughs> so we're going to have those for dinner. Oh, someone went on the couch. Hi, buddy. Show them your butt. <laughs> All right, well, I think I am actually going to stop for the day. It's about 3 o'clock, almost 3 o'clock. Like I said, we're on the last sprint. Yeah. I might do a little bit more, but I think I'm... I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I did a lot, though. I'm excited. morning it's Tuesday okay today as I'm sure if you've been watching my vlogs you know is marketing day so I will be meeting up with 
henna later on today, but I am going to start a little early because I'm kind of ahead of the game when it comes to my Preptober and uh, outlining and, and figuring everything out because I'm using the screenplay. But even yesterday, all the work that I did to build up the characters and figure out some more juicy details, side plots, what the, what the organization, the religion's cult, like all that stuff. Now I feel like, okay, I've got some stuff I can, I can munch on <laughs> during NaNo. So I'm gonna dedicate the whole day to marketing. I have some ideas for some reels that I think I might actually be putting on my personal Instagram and TikTok instead of the one that I've been posting on, which is Spread Frog Publishing. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I have like kind of some seedlings of ideas, a uh, little funny, goofy stuff. I don't know if they're going to be necessarily specifically book related or book ad advertising or things like that. Um, I definitely want them to involve my books. And I, it's, it's just an idea I have with <laughs> to do with Snake because he's so cute. And I think, and it's just, yeah. So I'm going to see how that goes you know he's he's a little bit of a diva so i'm not sure if he'll cooperate the way that i want him to for reels as you know most animals do not <laughs> but i'm gonna try because if i can if i can get this series going i think it'll be a lot of fun but so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hop on the computer and i'm gonna just kind of brainstorm some ideas and stuff like that so really helps me to focus on things like this and to have distractions because like i said in my previous vlog i am going through something personal i just want you guys to know though it isn't like health related um to me to family to stefan to anybody you know knock on wood you know would everything in that category is as far as we all know is fine and good yes it is it is some something uh different <laughs> but it's a lot and uh this vlog and doing all this stuff is definitely helping me to cope and distract myself and um I don't know, just having having goals and focus really helps me when I'm trying to process through something very difficult. Also therapy. Uh, I'm meeting with my therapist once a week now <laughs> and that's good. It's really helping because I, I don't want to, you know, push it down or block it or ignore it or anything like that. I want to process it. So, uh, but there's a lot of time and a lot of hours during the day. And since I work at home, it's a lot of time to percolate and think and get into my head. So having Preptober and Nano and um, all of my other projects that I'm trying to do definitely helps. <laughs> all right. Speaking of which, I'm going to get to it. Oh, dang, I just pulled the antelope. Uh, time to respond. Take action. No procrastinating. Decide and do it now. Okay, if there ever was a sign. Okay. Got my nano package, so I'm gonna open it. Okay. Got the mug first. We got the Imagination Station Nano. I love this mug. I've seen other people have it, and I was like, okay, I need that. I need that. You coming up here, bud? Snake's coming up here. Okay, and then I got a sweatshirt. I hope this fits. Maybe too small, but. Ooh, it seems soft. Yay! I will be 
a word slayer, this Nano. Yay! I love Nano merch. morning today is Wednesday I just finished exercising and showering I did arrange three arrange things yesterday this is my sewing table normally and I wanted it to be an all-in-one my computer my monitor and everything but then when I wanted to draw yesterday my Cintiq it just wasn't fitting so I had to do some changes so now this is my drawing station and then whenever I want to write I move this over to the island where I have my stand-up desk, or if I need to sit, I can sit here, but I'm gonna mainly consider this when I'm writing, I'm gonna stand. Especially since it's prep week, or prep month. Oh, hi. He heard me vlogging. You hear me vlogging and you come up, yes you do. Hi, buddy. Snake. Oh, one ear. Snake, yeah, you. She's like, what? So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be doing some drawing because I'm going to be doing some more digital art for my Etsy shop. And then I'm going to be doing some sprints with Hina McCord. I'm going to be doing some more prep work for Nano, but <laughs> yes, yes, we see you, we hear you. Oh, what a good boy. Yes, yes, you're such a good boy. Yes. <laughs> so I am going to be doing some more prep work, but what I was going to say is that I think I'm pretty much almost done, <sighs> which is good because I think I'm going. <laughs> now you're scratching the chair. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, which is actually pretty good. So I might be able to take it easy for a couple of weeks before I hop into Nano. So I'll probably be doing more of the, of my other creations, like sewing and drawing and just really kind of exercising that part of the brain. So uh, I'm gonna do a little drawing before I hop on with Hina and then, uh, and then I'm gonna go back to prepping. <laughs> morning it's Thursday I decided I wanted to wear my NaNoWriMo sweatshirt I was gonna wear it the first day but I was like you know what it's kind of cold out here in Toronto so I'm gonna wear my nice warm sweatshirt even though it seems pretty bright out here it's cloudy and in the apartment it gets really dark so I wanted to come out into the light yesterday was good though I I it seems like it takes me about a uh, most of the day to do one drawing, but that's okay. I'm gonna build up over time and then, then set up the store and have like, I'd say a minimum to start with 10 listings. That's my goal. And I had to rethink my reels with Snake because, you know, he's cat. The reason why there's a saying of it's impossible to herd cats, <laughs> but I think I have an idea to use it to my advantage. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm just trying to have fun, you know, because why not? So today though, I am going to be working on copy for those reels, but I'm also probably gonna try and do at least one more drawing. And then I have set aside a couple of hours to do tutorials. I'm learning a new program. I want to at least kind of get around the basics. So it is a busy, busy day and I'm gonna get started. So I haven't done anything. <laughs> I am just in a funk. <sighs> I mean, I've done some things, but just like, they feel, they feel like nothing. I know that's silly because any, I don't know. I mean, it's not like I have to be productive, but honestly, you know, like if I'm not doing something or what I'm just sitting, which is fine sometimes. Sometimes I just need to stare at the wall or something like that. 
But man, I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm going through something personal right now. So I get there are going to be days that are harder than others. But today just seems to be a crappy one. Part of me wants to just, I don't even know. Like I was going to say like binge something or binge watch something and just not do anything and just relax. But that doesn't sound good to me either right now. So not to put a bummer on everything, but I did download the program. I, I did do that, the one that I want to learn. So that actually ended up being kind of a pain <laughs> because I needed to get a free version of it just to see, you know, I didn't want to. It's a massively expensive program. So I just want to learn it first. So I did, I did finally figure that out. So I thought I would start uh, working. Oh, I got a visitor here. Hi. You want to say hi? Yeah. Oh, buddy. She always knows when I'm down. She always tries to cheer me up. He's sweet. But yeah, I've been staring at the blank document of me coming up with one-line blurbs for all my books. I just, I'm so bad at it. But I need to have a bunch because those would work really well for reels and for some of the other stuff I want to do. So I guess I'm just going to brainstorm, see if there's any streams on. Maybe having company will help. Even if it's virtual company. So I got... I got Snake right here. I got my kitty cat company, but he's being so cute. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. Hey, it's Friday. Yesterday, I did actually end up doing some work after that the feeling of ugh. I did some log lines like I wanted to do. I did about, oh, dear to boo. Yes, I'm vlogging again. He's like, I hear you. Are you gonna scratch your post? Yeah. Yeah. It's a ritual. Yes, so the day did get better, so yay. <laughs> okay, I was proactive today. I set up my audio booth. So this is on wheels. Basically, I just shut this door here to the closet and I wheel this over here. Move my clothes over for some sound dampening there, but what I need to do is I need to cover up this, the back of the door, and the ceiling because there's too much reflective sound in here. I'm thinking of going to Ikea and getting some curtains. You can get some like thicker curtains there. We are going to be moving into a two bedroom in a couple of weeks, November 2nd. So of course, day two of NaNoWriMo. <laughs> that gives me 18 days, I think. Technically 12 weekdays, but I'm gonna try and do it in 10. So I've got to pick a book. I think I'm going to do Riser, even though it's longer. I should probably do one of my shorter books like Atlas or uh, the second Dream Diaries book. But I really kind of want to start at the beginning. You know what I mean? Just start at the beginning and keep going. Because Riser is about 100,000 words. Atlas is around 80,000. And Dream Diaries 2, Blood Ties, is I think around 75,000. So it would... It, Oh, he hears me vlogging. Well, hello. Do you not like closed doors, buddy? No. Yeah, I know. I know. I didn't do it on purpose, I swear. He likes, oh, that's the other thing. I need to cover the floor. So I need to get like a little carpet too. So... Ikea, nice and cheap, here I come. Went to Walmart, got a foam topper for the ceiling and maybe one side. 
of the closet. And then I still need to get the curtains from Ikea, though. I did not get those, so. But here we go. Progress. I did the whole ceiling. That actually ended up taking pretty much most of the mattress topper. And then what I had left, I just took that one strip of, uh, I didn't even have to staple it. And this mattress topper, because I had this corner tucked in, I, I put it up with uh, only three little staples. So I don't have to worry about holes at all. So the only thing I have to worry about is this wall and the back of the door. All looks white to you. <laughs> yeah, so these two walls. So that's two curtains. I am going to use, sorry, it's such a disaster in here. I'm going to use these because they come off the walls super easy and they're super strong. And I really just need the curtains just to, just to lie there. They don't have to move. <laughs> so these will be perfect. So now all I have to do is go to Ikea and get to the curtains and then it's done. Yay. Editing me here. I forgot to film my outro. <laughs> But I did get the curtains. I went finally, finally went to Ikea and I got the curtains. Um, and there's really pretty, like teal, dark teal color. But they're very thick, so they'll do really well. Just have to hang them up in the sound booth. And yeah, I will be doing sound next week. Plus outlining. I think I'm going to switch over to Hexphere 2 since I'm pretty sure Sweet Falls is ready to go for Nano. So... I will be, I've already started the Hexphere 2 outline, but there's definitely missing chunks. So I'm gonna, even if it's just like a sentence, I'm gonna just try and play with things and put in scenes and try and figure out what, oh, you know, I've got the camera on his scratching post. So if it looks like there's an earthquake, it's him scratching. And you know, he heard me vlogging, so he had to come running. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys had a fantastic week. Mine was a little rough, <laughs> so I'm sorry if this vlog, if you made it through to the end, I'm sorry if this vlog was boring. But I, I was tempted not to post it, but then I was like, you know what? This is just how life is sometimes. So next week, I'm hoping I will be in a better mindset and I will get some good outlining done on Hexphere 2 and maybe actually get some audiobook stuff going finally. I've been saying this forever I feel like. <laughs> Let me know how you guys are doing in the comments and I will see you next week.